We have a major update on Deontay Wilder following his epic trilogy fight loss to Tyson Fury last month. There's a lot to break down here regarding Wilder's statement, his injury during the fight, what this means for his future, and more. So let's get right into it. To quickly recap, Wilder faced Fury for the third time on October 9, 2021 at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Their first fight in 2018 was scored a controversial split draw, while their rematch in 2020 saw Fury dominate and stop Wilder in the seventh round. After taking time off and changing trainers, Wilder enacted his clause for a trilogy fight with the goal of regaining his WBC heavyweight title. The action was delivered in spades with five total knockdowns between the two. Wilder almost finished it in the fourth round when he sent Fury down twice with massive right hands. But the Gypsy King rose both times and eventually turned the tide, scoring knockdowns of his own in the 10th and 11th rounds before referee Russell Mora waved it off at the 110 mark. It was another grueling battle that added to the legendary status of their rivalry. However, despite the valiant effort, Wilder again came up short in his quest to defeat Fury and reclaim that coveted green belt. In the immediate aftermath, Wilder did not speak to the media and instead had a brief statement included in the post-fight press release. He stated, I did my best, but it wasn't good enough. I'm not sure what happened. I know that in training, Fury did certain things, and I also knew that he didn't come in at 277 pounds to be a ballet dancer. He came to lean on me, try to rough me up, and he succeeded. A somewhat vague statement where Deontay seemed uncertain about exactly what went wrong. His trainer, Malik Scott, was apparently overheard telling Wilder between rounds that he should be proud of his effort, which is fair considering he almost had Fury out of there early on. It wasn't until this past Thursday that Deontay released an actual social media post with a more in-depth statement on the fight. He made sure to first thank God, his team and the fans before reflecting positively on his journey while still expressing disappointment at the outcome. Here's what Wilder had to say. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't disappointed in the outcome. But after reflecting on my journey, I now see that what God wanted me to experience is far greater than what I expected. He later added the quote, I've learned that sometimes you have to lose to win. So, while he obviously wanted the victory, it seems Wilder is taking more of a big picture perspective on this trilogy with fury, suggesting that the lessons and experiences along the way are ultimately even more meaningful than just having another belt around his waist. Expanding on that point, he said, hopefully I proved that I am a true warrior and a true king of the sport. Hopefully, we proved that no matter how hard you get hit with trials and tribulations, you can always pick yourself up to live and fight again for what you believe in. In conclusion, with pure class, he congratulated Fury on the win while thanking him for the everlasting memories. So, overall, it was a very thoughtful post-fight statement from Deontay Wilder. Now, before we further analyze Wilder's future, there was also an important injury update that came out. According to Mike Coppinger of ESPN, Wilder apparently suffered a broken metacarpal bone in his right hand during the sixth round. He's now set to undergo surgery to repair that. This certainly sheds more light on why Deontay said he wasn't sure what exactly happened or went wrong strategy-wise. Breaking that hand so early into the fight obviously had to affect his offensive attack and punching power moving forward, perhaps limiting some of the thunder on those signature right hands that almost had Fury out multiple times. No fighter ever wants to make excuses. But the broken hand is just an unfortunate reality that Wilder and his team have revealed. It definitely gives him more justification for the loss beyond just crediting Fury's size, pressure, and toughness. Otherwise, without that injury, who knows if Wilder could have better capitalized when he had Tyson badly hurt. So now, looking ahead, what does the future hold for the once-dominant bronze bomber? There will always be speculation about retirement any time a fighter endures back-to-back -back losses in such a devastating fashion. But considering Wilder is only 35 years old and gave us one of the best heavyweight title fights in recent memory, my hope is that he continues for at least a couple more big events. Yes, the odds of him ever defeating Tyson Fury seem very slim at this point. Their trilogy will forever be linked as an all-time great rivalry, but it increasingly feels like Fury simply has his number, stylistically, at the truly elite level. However, there are still plenty of other compelling matchups out there for Wilder that would do big business. An obvious one is a unification bout with the new unified champ, Alexander Usyk, 
who recently dethroned Anthony Joshua. A clash between Usyk and Wilder would be absolutely fireworks, given their combination of skills, speed, and punching power. I could genuinely see Deontay knocking out the smaller Usyk in dramatic fashion to regain a heavyweight title. That's just one example of the electric fights still available for Wilder that fans would love to see. Deontay could also attempt to rebuild his credibility a bit against a top five contender like Andy Ruiz Jr. before shooting for another championship, or even have a pure slugfest against a fellow KO artist like Dillian White just for the entertainment value. Lots of money and memorable moments to still be had for the bronze bomber, even if he never touches Fury again. Beyond the in-ring action, Wilder showing the heart and competitive fire that he did across 19 rounds with Fury should only enhance his reputation and profile going forward. We learned that despite the devastating knockout loss in their rematch, Wilder truly believes he's the best heavyweight in the world when at 100%. He doubled down on those claims by exercising his claws for another shot at Fury when most wrote him off. And in that fight, whether you believe he was winning before the injury or not, he showcased tremendous will and determination after surviving Fury's early onslaughts. Even knocking down the much bigger Fury multiple times with just one good hand shows how dangerous Wilder still is. He also spoke about on Tyson Fury on the Pivot podcast. Here's what he had to say. The experience was, was amazing, you know what I mean? Um, going through the, the uh, training camps and the different uh, trials and errors of that, you know. My point is, whether you love or hate Wilder, you have to admit that he doesn't quit. He truly embodies the warrior spirit both in the way he fights and how he handles adversity. And that unwavering self-belief is what will likely drive him to keep competing against elite competition, rather than just cash out, even coming off the losses to fury. At the end of the day, win or lose, people will always tune in to see Deontay Wilder unleash his nuclear right hand because he's proven capable of ending any fight with a single punch. So as long as he still has that equalizer, Lucrative super fights await along with the chance to regain championship glory, even if Fury firmly has his number at this point. But I want to hear from you. What did you make of Deontay Wilder's statement following the trilogy? How much do you think the broken hand impacted his performance? And what do you want to see next for Wilder, assuming he continues fighting? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this quick Wilder vs. Fury 3 recap and analysis, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the latest boxing news and updates. Thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you in the next one.